My very first impression of Gymshark was that Gymshark sucks. Once upon a time, three years ago, Baby Ash made her very first Gymshark purchase, which was, you guessed it, none other than the Gymshark Energy. That was actually my very first review on this YouTube channel, hey! And it was this energy. There's a lot to say about this oldie right here. Let's put it this way, they've made some seriously good changes over the years, much needed. This was a cropped bra that came a little too low for comfort and a high rise legging with the band that's almost the size of my head. But the best part of this legging has got to be the built-in panty liner. Okay. Here it is, all together, the taupe color. And I don't really like the liner. That's the one thing I gotta say. You can see it, it looks like underwear. The compression's nice, everything fits. Like it just like hugs you in the right places. Kind of accentuates your curves, girl, you know what I'm saying? Between the high-waisted and the vest, it almost looks like it could be just like one big bodysuit. <laughs> nice design, I absolutely love the design here. When I made this purchase, I went based off of all of the athlete sizes. They were all getting extra small leggings, so I decided, okay, well, I'm gonna get an extra small too. <laughs> it comes in the mail, and I go to put it up past my hips. It barely made it, mind you, but when it did, it was completely and utterly sheer. I saw everything. I remember going out to the kitchen and saying to Bay, like, this Gymshark is not what it's all cracked up to be. I actually had a friend suggest that I size up in the legging before totally writing off the brand altogether. And so I did that. Luckily they had their free returns and exchanges, so I took advantage of that. I exchanged for a size small. And when I put this on, I freaking felt like a superhero. I was sold instantly. I ran out to Bay and I was like, this. This, I said, what is this seamless fabric that I am so foreign to? So that, my dears, is when the Gymshark addiction began for me, and I never looked back, clearly. Three years later, and here we are. We're talking about some new, new energy that's going to be releasing this Thursday, January 27th at 2 p.m. EST, along with that new flex that you saw in our last video. And in case you didn't see that video, you best hit that up before the launch because we go over some good stuff in there. So with that being said, definitely hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I do a lot of like mix and match inspo, keep you guys up to date with all the new launches and things like that. So you don't wanna miss that. Subscribe for videos just like this every single week, baby. We make videos every week. Before we hop into this video, I'd like to take a minute to thank you guys if you do choose to support me through my Gymshark link during these launches or any launches. I really do value our relationship with Gymshark and it's because of you guys, your support that helps us to keep making these videos. Without you guys, this channel, these videos, these Gymshark pre-launch videos would not exist. So thank you guys so much if you do choose to support me through my Gymshark link. A huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. I get a lot of questions about like the comparison, like which one, which legging should I go for because I can only buy one legging from this launch, so which one should I go with? I thought it would be great to add in a very little brief mention of the differences between these two leggings. I mean, just the aesthetic of the flex is its own thing. You got that big, blocky contour. You best love big, blocky contour and massive Gymshark logos if you wanna get that flex. You also have that marl breakup, so it's not one solid color at all. Whereas, the energy has super subtle contouring, so the glute contouring is not very noticeable. It's more of a, a mesh detailing. You have that moto ribbed design going down, and what they're very famous for is their eyelet design, which are these little tiny baby holes going on throughout the legging. In terms of the fit, we know that these are both high-waisted seamless leggings, but the flex is actually a lot stretchier in material. I feel like it goes on the legs so much smoother just to get up is a lot easier for me. It's a lot less of a compressive fit than the energy. So the energy for me is a little bit less stretchy. There's not as much stretch. It's definitely got more of a, a moderate to higher compression than the flex. Here's an example of the stretch difference. There's a lot more stretch in this. So basically I would say if you need something more for running, walking, hit movements, you might wanna opt out for the energy. It's also very good for weight training, so don't get it twisted. I train a lot 
weightlifting with the energy. It's a very versatile legging, but if you're looking for something a little more just lower moderate type of support with a little more stretch and movement in it, then I would opt for the flex. In terms of touch, they're both soft, not buttery soft, but they're both decently soft and similar to the touch. They do have that thicker, slightly thicker feel to them. And lastly, if you're somebody who prefers tummy control, that's something to keep in mind. Opt out for that energy, a little better support than the flex. Now, I'm not sure what the price point's gonna be on the new releases, but going based off of the last launch, the Energy's $55 and the Flex is 50. So a $5 difference, I guess that's justifiable because you do get more support in this legging. And I believe that the design takes a little more energy <laughs> to make. So I hope you guys found that little bit helpful. Now let's get into these fun new colors. We have a beautiful mixture of nudes and bright, so you know I like a little bit of boats from time to time. We're starting with my favorite. It's an off-white, it's called coconut white, so in case you don't know what coconut white is, it's like, imagine taking an eyedropper and, and dropping one drop of tan into pure white. That's what color this is. You guys really responded well to this off-white color in my Instagram reel. I showcased this a little bit and I gotta admit to you, I feel a lot safer in this color than I do pure white. Pure white and I, as much as I love it, we don't get along at all. Pure white hates me. I actually wanna point out something I noticed is that they do reverse logos on here. So you got the shark face on the tops, all tops, the bras, the crops, you name it. And then you got the Gymshark text written out downhill. But then when you twist around, it's vice versa. You see that shit? I have to admit, I am a huge fan of the energy shorts. I love the energy shorts. The length is perfect. It's not long like biker shorts, but they're not like that awkward length where I would be really insecure to wear them out and about. I especially love them because they don't dig. That's a big deal to me. I'm really weird when it comes to shorts, but there's no digging here, no cinching. You're probably gonna ask me, well, like, Ash, do you prefer the energy shorts or the flex shorts? Well, if we're talking the non-biker flex shorts, the ones with the band, I prefer energy. I think energy are one of my favorite fitted shorts. I like them better than vital. I can totally get behind that real subtle contour too. Sometimes bulky contour, you don't want that all the time. So this really does it. It's a really nice subtle look to it. This looks like an elegant color. This set all day, just really elegant. It is surprisingly squat proof for how almost white this is. I would give it an 85, 90% squat proof if I'm being real. Now keep that in mind, that is right here, right now in daylight. They had to literally be up to my ass like this. So uh, that's, that's what we're going based off of right here. But do keep in mind, this is me, my measurements, it could differ. And just remember my story I told before where I got the extra small and it was completely sheer in this taupe color. I ordered the size up and I did not see any sheerness. So keep that in mind, if you experience like 100% see-through shit, try a different size. If it still doesn't work, then you know it's just not gonna work for you. Let's take a second to just appreciate how far the energy bra has come. I don't know if you guys remember, but they used to have two options to their sports bras. They would have the cropped vest, which has a built-in bra and everything, or they had a strappy sports bra, which I always opted out for. I thought it was really sexy, actually. But as of lately, they evolved the bra to be more of just a straightforward, thick strap, normal sports bra. You got some eyelets going on right at the cleavage, but don't you fret because you can't see your titties. <laughs> Nothing's getting peeked out here. You actually have a double layer, so there's a nice good support right here, and you're not gonna see any flesh, not too much flesh, just a little bit. No strappy action, no thick vest. Instead, they now have the normal bra with the option to buy separately a crop top to put over it, which I love these crops. They are perfect to add a little more flavor to your wardrobe, a little more coverage to your set. Really cute little mix and matches you can do with these. There's no built-in bra liner or anything, so they're just tight-fitted tank tops that are cropped. Really pretty, I love wearing it with the white, so you can see a little peekaboo of that coconut white coming through. And keep in mind, guys, like you can really play around with nudes. That's why I'm a huge fan of the nude colors. You can mix and match all day and night. Like if you ordered stuff from the KK Fit launch, that is, that is such a nice mix right there. Don't ever feel like, especially if you're on a budget, like 
you can only buy a full set or that's it. Just mix and match and play and have some fun with it. And while we're on the topic of mix and matching, bingo! So they're coming out with a really pretty golden brown color. That's how I'm gonna describe it. This is like a tan golden brown. This is a warm tone at its finest. Dijon mustard. Okay. <laughs> no. Spicy brown mustard. Getting warmer. So I knew, I just knew when I put this on, I said, I have a feeling that training V-neck that I freaking swore by last year is gonna be a perfect mix and it is. So keep that in mind. Like you, you're like, yo, I only wanna get one piece. You have this pretty golden brown training back thong V-neck sports bra, then you can just grab like the shorts or leggings and make it work. And not for nothing, the training bras are a lot cheaper, so. They really focused on what I'm gonna call eyedropper colors, where they just drop a tinge of a color in another color, and they make a new color. So that's what I'm seeing here. Does the dump look plump though? That's what I wanna know. Comment down below. I've been doing some hip thrust, gotta trust the thrust. I've been doing that a lot, and I'm feeling like I'm finally starting to see some gains. I'll start to deflate over time when I stop doing the hip thrust, then I just bang out a set of hip thrust, and then my, my dump gets plump again. So, trust the thrust. Let's turn up the vibrancy just a tad in here, shall we? Oh, hell no, this is flex. Okay, that's more like it. So clearly you can tell this is not an energy bra, this is the new flex coming out, but you can also tell that they're the same damn color. Energy shorts, flex bra. So if you prefer the flex bra over energy, you want a little bit of both, a little taste of both, the same freaking color. You got that glitchy yellow up in here. You will stand out in a gym, just saying. I wore this the other day, the flex long sleeve version of this, and I just felt like I was a flashlight in the dark gym. Also gotta say how much I appreciate that these shorts do not roll up and there's no gaping band. That's the one thing I remember on the old energy. I would get a little, little flapper in the back, but this is totally a summer color. Like I'm gonna bring out this exact set with the shorts come summertime. So these might have to be stowed away for now. And then when I can bring it back out. So if you wanna think ahead for summertime, Now's the chance. Actually, this is the only pair of leggings that I have in today's haul. This pink, this, this reminds me of a pink they came out with. This one maybe? Aha. Yep, I got another training v-neck. The leggings, yeah man, I'm not gonna lie, like this much of a struggle to get on. They are my true size, like I would not size up or down. They fit great, nice decent compression. I actually really appreciate the fact that these do not give me a uni butt, nor do the short versions. I appreciate that. Whereas the flex sometimes can give you that uni butt look. The energy actually, for me, I feel like the energy hugs my curves in the right way. I always felt that way about the energy seamless, which is why this used to be my actual number one preferred collection from Gymshark. Let's go ahead and just real quick grab that 2019 energy just for the fun of it. Let's compare bands. Are you ready? Wow, okay, yeah. This band came up to my rib cage. It's safe to say I am glad that they adjusted that quite a bit here. The energy is notoriously long on me though. Now I do know their previous collections. They have two types of leggings you can choose from. You got the full length and you have the cropped version. I am not 100% sure on the cropped versions of these, if they'll be available, but I do know that that is what energy is known for, so they very well could have the cropped versions of these leggings. I'm not 100% sure. This is me kind of hiking it up. As you can see, you can see a little bit of that wrinkle, a little extra bagginess here. This is me not hiking it up at all, and you can see a lot of bunching here. So I used to always opt out for the cropped energy version, that was just me, but even on my five foot three booty, the cropped was decently cropped. So I'd probably opt for the full length leggings. I used to just roll them up a tad and who gives a shit? <laughs> Sizing down will not help your length. They're already really compressive, so if anything, in between sizes, I would probably say size up if you're in between. Other than that, stick to your true size. My small is doing me just fine. It's not overly compressive. It's not sandwiching in my glutes, thank goodness. The stretch, it's not that stretchy. So the flex, super stretch for me. I feel like it's 10 times more stretchier than the energy, but this is still a very heavy duty, thick type of material where it's gonna wick it's still slightly breathable. You got the eyelets to help you out with that breathability factor. I carry my cellulite on the backs of my legs. I always have, I always will. 
Who cares? It's all good. Cellulite is perfectly normal. We are women, damn it. When I'm trying on leggings, I always just look to see in certain lighting if you can see a little bit of ripples and things like that. When it comes to the energy, I personally feel like it is the best legging for concealing cellulite. In terms of compression and smoothing you out, it's the energy that's gonna do that. For me, it's undetectable for me. So yeah guys, what are we thinking of the new energy? Keep in mind this material stayed the same from the last launch. Comment down below what you're looking to snag. Are you gonna snag a little bit of both flex and energy? Are you looking for one or the other? And definitely do not forget to subscribe for future Gymshark releases. We try to review things before they launch. I'm like Dwight from The Office. I don't take vacations. I don't take sick days. If I got Gymshark in hand, you guys will know about it too. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. How the setup looks. This is how we place our boom mic. Okay, that's just how it is in life. And uh, thank you so much, Bay, for setting it up. Are you filming me? I'm filming you. Why? Oh my god. You even got the same shark face. Like, hello. <laughs> you ain't missing out on much. <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Okay.